Hi, I'm going to be here today. I'm going to do some speed tests on the iPhone 3G, the iPhone 4, and the iPad. Uh, we're going to use, be using an app, app called Checkup. It's available in the App Store there. So you can do your own tests if you like. Um, we're going to launch the same app on uh, all three devices. And your first notice, um, it gives some basic stats. Um, it gives the OS. This is running, the iPhone 3G is running iOS 4, um, jailbroken with multitasking enabled. Um, but no, uh, no wallpaper, and obviously it just gives a few uh, stats on this. So we're going to go into these test category on each device, and we're going to run uh, a few tests. First thing is we're going to run this on the 3G. We're going to run the CPU test, which measures uh, null ops per second and square roots a second. So we're going to run the test, and we're doing about 127 million null ops per second and 143 million uh, square roots a second. And we're going to go to memory. And this is basically going to test uh, the RAM and see how fast we can allocate and copy. We're doing uh, 21 point, or 29.1 megabits a second and um, 425.5 kilocks a second for a memory allocate. And we're going to go down to the write speed. We're going to run this test. Now, this basically tests the write, speed, write and read speed of the flash memory inside the device. And we're doing 11.9 megabits a second and 5.3 megabits a second uh, file read and write, uh, respectfully. Write and read. Let's come over to the iPhone 4 here. Uh, we're going to run the CPU test. And we're doing 286 million um, null ops per second and square roots a second is 500 million. Now if we compare that to the iPhone 3G, it's a considerable amount more. Um, so obviously the iPhone 4 is faster. I don't think anybody disputes that. Let's go over to the memory copy. We're doing 145 megabits a second and 1.6 meloops a second. And down the file read, file write and read. And we're doing uh, 47.7 megabits a second write and 15.9 megabits a second read. Um, let's come over to the iPad here, the biggest of them all. And let's run the null ops per second. So we're doing 312 million null ops per second, and square roots is uh, 500 million. Let's go to the memory test. We're doing 177.8 megabits a second and 2.4 mil ops a second. And the storage test, we're doing 47.7 megabits a second, uh, megabytes a second, and 15.9 megabytes a second. Now, if we come and compare this to the iPhone uh, 4, you can see we're doing uh, 312 million on the iPad, and we're going to be doing 286 million on the uh, iPhone 4. Um, so obviously, this this is a pretty clear test that the iPad is faster um, CPU-wise. Again, we're same same with the memory copy and the memory allocate. We're doing 177.8 on the iPad, and on the iPhone we're doing 145.5 megabytes a second, and same with the uh, same with memory allocate, the iPad clearly has it beat. And uh, file write and read are identical. So um, we're using the same flash memory and the same, uh, and the same controller, um, presumably in the iPad and the iPhone. Um, so these tests are no way scientific. Um, obviously, iPhone 3G is uh, not a competitor here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick uh, video and do some non-scientific analysis. Thank you. Please subscribe.